Now, it's a commonly known fact that in space, no one can hear you scream. But as xenomorphs aside, science fiction and horror has terrifyingly laid out several centuries worth of fictional alien races and entities unwittingly floating about in the incomprehensible vastness of the cosmos, ready to consume a buffet's worth of humans, harvest their organs, recombobulate them into a race of cyborgs, or all of the above. There are many philosophical and psychological themes that permeate themselves across science fiction, but oftentimes we find that the alien fear found in fiction is much more closer to home than we'd like to admit. Hello horror fans, what's going on and once again, welcome back to the Scariest Channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos. As per usual, I'll be your host Jack Finch as today we curiously take a look at the Top 5 Scariest Fictional Alien Entities. Roll the clip. <laughs> For the curious amongst you, that clip was from the resoundingly original 2016 sci-fi movie Arrival, and it's definitely the most wholesome cinematic depiction we've ever had of an alien race. So let's hope if we ever meet our interstellar neighbours, they're a little less xenomorph and a little more heptapod. It segues me neatly to an important point though, I'm going to try and do this list without any mention of the alien that tops everyone else's list, the xenomorph of course. And on that note, we may as well throw in the Yucha from Predator, John Carpenter's The Thing, plus Cthulhu and all his buddies. because. You all know that I love a challenge. Let's get to it. Kicking off at number five, the Gaould Stargate. Although they may look like a bunch of mildly eccentric ancient Egyptian offshoots, the fact of the matter is the Gaiuld are absolutely terrifying because they're actually a bunch of parasitic snake-like worms that burrow into the neck or throat of their host, puppeteering them for the rest of their lives. Once in the body, they begin to wrap themselves around the spine, weaving around the nervous system where grotesque tendrils extend up the spinal column and then into the brain. Over nearly three decades of the Stargate franchise, including four feature-length films, the Gaiuld were pretty pretty much an unrivaled evil and no one could quite compete with their creepy level of parasitic violation. As Stargate explains, the snake like gold first arose in the waters of the planet P3X888, originally as primal predators that eventually evolved to take the humanoids that cohabited the planet, the Unus, as hosts, which is an insane premise, isn't it? Imagine thinking you're the most physically superior race on the planet, only to get usurped by a bunch of terrifying spiky tooth water worms. Yeah. Nah. No thanks. Eventually, they pretty much enslaved the entire race of the native Unus and then led themselves out into the stars, piloting their parasitic hosts into their conveniently placed Stargate to populate themselves across the universe as ancient Egyptian gods. Yeah, the gold are pretty gross, if not really annoying. Next up at number four, the Dark Elder, Warhammer 40k. Now you might be thinking that there are many more horrifying alien entities in the grim darkness of the Warhammer 40k universe. You've got the ravenous swarm of the Tyranids, the undead cybernetic soul overlords of the Necron, or the back crazy scourge of the Chaos Marines. But let me tell you exactly why the Dark Eldar take the cake. They are the literal definition of cosmic evil, and it's made worse by the fact that they were once part of the most enlightened civilizations in the galaxy, their counterparts, the Eldar Empire. The Dark Eldar, also referred to as the Drakari, are a race of ancient and highly advanced fey humanoids, an offshoot of their kindred craftworld Eldar, after succumbing to the vile whisperings of the Chaos God, Slanesh. Because of their ritualistic worship of she who thirsts, they revel in the physical and emotional pain of others, feeding off the psychic residue of suffering and slowly consuming the will of the galaxy through piracy, slavery and torture. Their insatiable lust for suffering, also known as the thirst, has led them to contort their way of life into an abomination of Eldar culture, dedicating themselves to a non-stop war of pain and misery against all other life forms. Yeah, these are the last guys you'd ever want at a dinner party. Swinging in at number three, the Flood, Halo. With talk, there is much talk, and I have listened through rock and metal and time. And I don't say this lightly, theoretically speaking, the Flood are perhaps one of the greatest fictional threats to any universe ever. So we better hope that we've got a Master Chief floating around somewhere, ready to save the day. 
Cortana 2. Teamwork. If you've ever played any of Bungie's resounding Halo series, you'll know that the Flood, mechanically speaking, are one of the most terrifying entities of all time to play against. You'll also know that they're a species of highly virulent parasitic organisms that reproduce and grow by consuming any and every sentient life form that they can get their maws on. The thing is though, the Flood aren't terrifying in the conventional sense. They're terrifying because their sole objective is to amalgamate any sentient life form, mutating and corrupting them through disease and infestation. Of course, every mutagenic brood race has to have a puppet master, and that's the equally terrifying Grave Minds, a rare creation of the Flood that forms the ultimate intelligence of their hive mind. They are near omniscient and have complete control over all other Flood creations. A Grave Mind is literally built from the thousands upon thousands of the Flood's dead enemies, reassembled into a massive, tentacled, and highly intelligent entity, accumulating in all of the memories of every soul ever consumed by the Flood. Yeah, you get the picture, right? Next up at number two, the Reapers, Mass Effect. Oh, Mass Effect, what did they do to you? As well as being one of my favourite video game series of all time, Mass Effect also gifted us one of the most terrifying hypothetical alien notions that you could ever imagine. And it's in the cosmic insignificance of the ancient race of Reapers that this entry truly shines. Throughout the Mass Effect trilogy, we're slowly drip fed enough information as to what the Reapers true intentions are. But it soon becomes clear that their designs are far more existentially evil than Shepard and his crew ever expected. Be noted guys, there are spoilers coming up ahead. For 50,000 years at a time, the Reapers, a machine race of synthetic organic starships, hibernate in the lifeless area of the universe known as dark space. There they lie dormant waiting for primitive life to evolve their civilizations far enough and head out to the stars, populating their galaxies where they will eventually find the citadel and the mass relay network capable of traversing the universe. Seemingly an ancient relic of technology that was left behind by a mysterious highly advanced spacefaring species. But it turns out though that the Reapers were the original creators of this technology and they purposefully constructed it so that any intelligent life in the galaxy would eventually discover it and base their technology upon it, which it all turns out is all part of a scheme to harvest the galaxy's sentient life in a repeating cycle of purges that has continued relentlessly over countless millennia. They're the spiders, the citadel is the web, and we're the flies. Yeah, need I say more? And finally, coming in at our number one spot, the Borg Collective, Star Trek. I am Locutus of Borg. Resistance is futile. Oh no, Jean-Luc. What have they done to you? Because there is one terrifying alien entity remaining, and this time it's personal. For me, there is nothing more humanly horrifying lingering out in the universe than the Borg, a highly advanced civilization of cyborgs that seek to conquer all known life in the relentless goal to perfect it, seizing other life forms, their technology, vessels, planets, and even entire star systems by force, enslaving them and assimilating their collective strengths into their shared consciousness. Personally speaking, the Borg collective strike theory me because they are both a metaphorical and literal obliteration of the individual. They destroy all nuances of difference, creativity and vibrancy, all in their pursuit of perfecting an assimilated galactic life form. Because of that, the Borg are an enemy to every known living race in existence, particularly humans and the crew of the Star Trek Enterprise. The Borg are believed to be over 200,000 years old, originating in Unimatrix 1 of the Delta Quadrant, where they began life as a small race of weak cybernetic life forms after merging machine to man. For any of you that haven't seen Star Trek, particularly the next generation, the first time you stumble upon the Borg is a horrifying, memorable moment. And the revelation of the greatest captain in the history of anything, my man Jean-Luc Picard, falling victim to the Borg Collective, is the visual representation of despair incarnate. T. Earl Grey. Hot man. I hate the Borg. Well, there we have it, horror fans, our comprehensive list of the top five scariest fictional alien entities. What do you guys think? Got any choice picks of your own that could perhaps make up a part two? Then let us know in the comment section down below. Before we depart though, let's take a quick look at some of your more creative comments from over the past few days. Tyler Soul says, yo Jack, if you had to recommend one horror story other than a King novel, what would it be? Love your work. Yo Tyler Souls, cheers man, that's incredibly kind of you. You know what, that's a tough, tough question, but I'd say, as we're feeling fresh, John dies at the end 
by David Wong is a great read of cosmic horror and a perfect way to dip your toe into the genre. It doesn't take itself too seriously, it's hilarious in places, but it's also straight up horrifying. Good job. On that note, horror fans, that's all we've got time for in today's video. Cheers for sticking around all the way until the end. If you're a fan of this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe bell, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. As per usual, I've been your horror host, Jack Finch. You've been watching top five scary videos. Until next time, you take it easy.